Hi there, welcome to Nepi Invest. It's a bit of an update to a company that I introduced to this channel in October of 2023. This was also a request from a viewer of this channel. They wanted an update uh, to AML 3D. And the reason I did that introductory video on this company back in October was because I was impressed by this company's September quarter results. And I wanted to see if they could continue that momentum we saw into the December quarter. And it seemed like possibly they have. Now, AML 3D is a welding, robotics, metallurgy, and software business which uses automated wire-fed 3D printing in a large free-from environment to produce metal components and structures for commercial use. They've developed and patented a wire additive manufacturing process or WAM process that metal 3D prints commercial large-scale parts for aerospace, defense, maritime, manufacturing, and mining, oil, and gas sectors. So let's have a look at a few other facts in regards to this company. This company was founded in November 2014 and listed on the ASX in April 2020, which is a really interesting date because not many companies listed on the ASX between about March and June of 2020. So this would be one of the only companies that decided, yes, now's a good time to list on the ASX, April 2020. That's actually pretty good timing because that was just after the bottom. The current managing director is Sean Ebert, and he's been uh, on the board since 2019. So he's been with this company uh, for at least five years. Uh, the largest shareholder is Andrew Sales. He's a CTO, Chief Technical Officer, and the founder of the company, and he has 13.8% of this company. So a bit of skin in the game there. Now the current market of this company at a share price of 7.5 cents and the current share price as I am recording this video, which is about midday on the 5th of February is about 7.6 cents. So at 7.5 cents, the market of this company is $18 million. They have 236 million shares on issue and the digo for this company is AL3. Now let's have a look at this company's December quarter results. But before we do that, I'm just going to go back into time. Have a look at this company's December results for financial year 23. Then I'll have a look at the, the September results for financial year 24, the last quarter results. And then we'll have a look at the most recent December record, results, just so, just so we can see how this company has performed in the past year. Now, if we go back one year ago, more than likely, I would have completely dismissed this company. I would not have, have an, even have a a uh, sneaking glance at what this company is doing simply because receipts of customers $54,000 and they will burn through $1.2 million just in operations and they only had $2.8 million of cash on hand. So more than likely with the cash burn, this company would have to do significant capital raisings and more than likely the market cap of this company back one year ago when they released these December results would have been fairly low. So I would have completely bypassed these results and moved on to the next company. So let's have a look at the particular quarter results that did have, make me have a further look, further glance at this company. And this was the December timber results that uh, led me to do the introductory video on this company. And the reason why I did that particular video is simply because this company went from burning through $1.2 million of cash in the December quarter, financial year 23, to generating cash flow in their operations, $365,000 of cash flow and receipts to customers up to $2.4 million. Now, at this particular time, this was or could have been just a one-off. And you'll be able to see that when we look at the cash receipts history in about two slides. So I just wanted to see if this was just a one-off. So many things to like. In, re in relation to this company. The other thing to note is they had $4.8 million of cash. So they did a couple of raising uh, during the year as well. So plenty of cash on hand, receipts up significantly, up $2.2 million from the previous corresponding period. And this company was operating cash flow for this particular quarter. So let's have a look at the December quarter results for financial year 24, just to see if they could continue this momentum. And it wouldn't be surprising to me if receipts for customers had completely fallen off a cliff. Let's see if that happened for this company. And simply because I'm doing this video, we already know the answer to that question. And in fact, receipts from customers did not fall off a cliff. In fact, they rose 
increased by $100,000 from the previous quarter. Not the previous corresponding period quarter, but the previous quarter, the September quarter. So up to $2.5 million. Uh, but costs actually did increase during the quarter. Product manufacturing up 200,000. Staff costs up 500,000. So they've increased the staff on hand. That could be a good thing moving forward. And administration costs down $160,000. And that is actually one area I like to see companies pruning costs. So overall, cost did increase more than receipts increase. And that's why the company was actually operating cash flow negative, but only by $47,000. Another thing to take into account, cash on hand did decrease by $600,000, fell from $4.8 million to $4.2 million. And one of the reasons behind that is because of capital expenditure. The company increased the capital expenditure up to $359,000 in the quarter. Now let's have a look at the receipts history for AML 3D. And you can see probably why I just wanted to see if the company can continue the momentum, momentum from the September quarter, because you can see a fair bit of lumpiness here when it comes to this company. You can see one quarter receipts up fairly high and then the next quarter receipts just nosedive. We saw that between the March quarter and the June quarter in 2023, receipts went from just over, in fact, if you go from the December quarter, receipts went from 54000 up to $1 million and then back down to 207000 Now, we've had two quarters where receipts were above $2.3 million. Now, the next question I have for AML 3D is whether or not receipts in the March quarter drop off again or receipts continue on this climb. So potentially, you could argue that the current quarter we're in, the March quarter, is the most important quarter for AML 3D, because this is where we see if this company becomes even more interesting, that they can generate cash flow on a continuing basis in the company. And that is an important stage for any company. It's an inflection point that if a company can generate cash in their operations, they can become self sustaining. They don't have to go back to the market to raise further capital. But is the market aware of this company just yet? And probably the answer to that is no. Now, the share price is not in a downtrend anymore. The share price was in a downtrend. And you can say that downtrend has come to an end, really came to an end in August of last year, just before they released those September results. And when they did release those September results, there wasn't much interest in this company. And that interest has stayed fairly low. But definitely the share price is not decreasing. Short term, it has decreased. So if you go back to at the start of January, the share price of this company did get above 10 cents for a brief period. Now it's pulled back to 7.5 cents. So this is just a bit of a short term dip in the share price. And maybe now, particularly if you are confident, if your conviction on this company is quite high, maybe now is the time to think about taking a position in this company or adding to your position in this company because the share price has pulled back a little bit from the start of January. That is all I have for this second look at AML 3D. Looking at the December quarter results for financial year 24, the company has seemingly continued the momentum we saw in the September quarter. The next question I have, can they continue that momentum in the current quarter, the March quarter, possibly even into the June quarter. So it remains to be seen, but things are moving in the right direction for this company. And what they're doing does seem really interesting to me, intriguing. Uh, maybe you think completely different. Anyway, if you have any more thoughts about this company, any questions, just leave those in the comment section. Otherwise, I am not a financial advisor. If you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who's qualified and can speak to your own financial needs. That's it for this video. Have a good day. Bye.